Hello everybody and uh well welcome back to the videos of Omni Mori. Um there is a lot to cover and first and foremost I have a big thank you to do. Welcome to the new main home screen. There are numerous changes, but the biggest and most uh upfront one and I wanna give big thanks to is the theme, the music. I want to thank Mellow Sonic on YouTube. He makes amazing freaking music. From original works to remixes, he most likely has it all. He has all sorts of things that he's been working on. I've been listening to his music some time. If you like the music that you're hearing, whether it's being overpowered by my beautiful voice or not, um, you will want to check out his stuff. He does all sorts of amazing things. His YouTube and other media will be down in the description so you can get some quick access to such materials. But yeah, I found this song while they just throws in YouTube. It was Unreal. It was the Unreal theme. It sounded awesome. I played Unreal Gold throughout my adolescent years, the years when I was a wee lad. And he captured the feel, the sound, and everything of Unreal. So I shot him a message. Hey, can I have this particular song for my game? It was originally for YouTube, but since I've been working on the game, yeah. Apologies for the cuts, not feeling too good today. But yeah, I'm also giving him big credits everywhere and making sure that he gets all the credit that he's due as this is absolutely freaking amazing. As you can tell, I put a little uh, card on the bottom left. Main menu music is Unreal Main Theme, remixed by Mellow Sonic on YouTube, original by Alexander Brandon and Michael Vandem Dos. Hopefully, I said that right. But yeah, the music, I just like it. It has a bit of a mix of fantasy and sci fi, which is what I wanted to go for. I mean, listen to it. Freaking awesome. Mm, um, like I said, check out his work. He does all sorts of amazing stuff. A couple other changes to the screen, even though it's kind of being cut off by the title. Um, a couple characters are in the background. There will be lore tied to them, and they look a little funny because I'm in, um, I guess, demo mode, you could say. So it's not going to show everything exactly proper with lighting. That's why they stick out like a sword for the thumb, whereas uh, the main guy is kind of like. I also added a lot of skulls, because, well, skulls, because I'm edgy. Nah, I just thought that, that would be a nice touch. And, yeah, why not? Because it's Omnivori. Oh, Snow is also added, and a few other things. I have to say, I really like this. However, there's a lot more to see, as I've been testing with all sorts of characters. Also, I gotta bump up the level limit. Okay, well that loads. Again, I want to thank you, Mellow Sonic. Hopefully, uh, you're doing well. Your work is awesome. I thank you once again for allowing me to be able to have your music in my game. I hope it does you good. I will also be trying to look for a way to put um, your links into the game so that maybe people could click them and get instant access. Now, the editor is a little frozen up. It does that from time to time, especially since I've been adding as much as I can to it. Almost every day, I'm always working on it. Um, the levels are gradually having more and more added. Things are being tweaked. Like, uh, I actually have some plans today to add more assets to a level or two. Hint, hint. And I also got to work with lighting because I don't like the fact that the inside of buildings are um, as lit as the outside. That doesn't quite make sense. Plus, I kind of wanted to add a bit more of a tension feel of things. Although that means that I would have to put a bunch of lights everywhere in buildings that uh, I would want people to really explore. Then again, I got to fix a good portion of those lights anyways. Okay, that's an interesting note. Although I don't know if I'm... Um, 
that is what I meant, but apparently the spawn checkpoint is by new, well, loading. Okay, what to cover? Um, okay, last version was like 0 .0180. Uh, I actually didn't update the version number for this because I didn't know what version number it would be. But, uh, I'm sure the first thing you'll really notice is that there's food items in the hot bar, as well as some weird circle things, and two new bars underneath the health and mana. Well, that's right, there is hunger and thirst now in the game. Now some may not like it, others may. Me personally, I like it, and there shouldn't be a real shortage of food items for you to be able to, oh my god stop screaming for you to really keep your bars topped off so it shouldn't be too difficult because you could get it from pickups and other things which I'll show in a sec uh just like this guy um placeholder model and dialogue but we're just food from this guy uh plentiful from and plentiful uh drink in order to top off your first uh, but you'll need a little coin. Shouldn't be too hard if uh, you take out some of the enemies. Alright, there's also a new spell. Might as well uh, try it here. I don't know what to really call it, but... Oh, that was a little loud. Sorry for anybody's ears that got blown out. Also, that was very unintentional for them to, like, bunch up and explode. So... Alright. Looting has been changed to be just this one drop, primarily because, well, I don't want loot to litter all over the place. Don't get me wrong, I love a pinata of ammo and goodies, but the thing is, um, I'm in the process of figuring out how I want loot to be distributed, because I'm thinking there will be different um, weapons, items, and things. Um, enemies just can't be spawning all the items and such. So, some items might be locked to some category of enemies or, um, sellers, so that you could get those items, but you can't simply, like, farm up these guys. Um, that might go true here and there. Also, I tweaked some, uh, lettering. It may not be the greatest, but I kind of wanted, like, a, a bit more of a grittier feel. Anyways, uh, currency system, um, it's a work in progress, but there is much that I hope to go with it, as I'm also trying to explore the inner workings of this and seeing if I can break some of the limiting factors. Because um, in previous testing, I wanted to see how high could like health and other values get to before they break. A uh, little disappointed, though some people would be like, um, why is that disappointment? Well, guess 2 billion, which I feel is kind of the golden area. Um, pretty much that's where I feel health can be before uh, recovering, healing items, and taking damage all really break. Actually, I think regeneration stops working after like a million healing may stop probably around a billion and then after like two billion taking damage starts to break I could be wrong on those um, it could actually be a lot sooner which is real freaking shame because I want it to be like borderlands or idle RPG insanity values alright so the shops and such are going to need a little bit more work but we got our currency man here this is primarily where you could go in order to transfer, I guess, the trading currency into uh, bigger ways of storing it, which there are numerous ways that you can. So you could always store up a bunch of coin in case you hit the um, max, which is 2 billion. Otherwise, who knows, it might break, you might lose all of your uh, coin. I don't know, the buying and selling system is still kind of finicky with how things work. Everything's a little finicky. But in time, they will be fixed, patched, and all that. Hey, get back here. More loot for me. Ah, 
I figured why not throw in a little gameplay. Grab all these looting items. Alright, besides the hunger and uh, thirst and the uh, sort of food items and the increased currency, there's also a path to the necropolis that also has a little bit added to it. However, it's still quite the way. Then again, I'm kind of going with the mindset of I want to make big. I want to go, I guess the bad, best example would be like Warhammer 40k. Huge. However, I know that the bigger the builds, um, there's also will be the need to be able to travel faster. So don't worry, mounts, wings, flying, and all sorts of things will be looked into in due time. For now, just kind of rough. Don't worry, it's painful for you, it's just as if not a little bit more so for me because I do it almost multiple times a day. But I still enjoy it because I am happy with kind of how this is growing and developing. Alright, well, this whole portion from that little entrance all the way over to here would be like the graveyard, with past that point being like the royal or the fancy graveyard. This, I guess, is like a candlelit mausoleum or an uh, area where you can light a candle for relatives that passed away. But, added restart respawn point and stash access and the bones around here are still going to be problematic oh I'm so sorry for that that was not intentional I, I did not want it to explode in my face but I guess it did. Uh, not too much change down there except for um, the enemies actually these guys are actually tougher than the ones you will find up top uh, yeah, you can kind of see their levels. I gotta figure out how to really tie the mouse to the cursor. I might actually increase their power so that they're more dangerous. Because right now, especially since you have access to pretty high uh, tiered armor, it's going to be a little too easy um, to be able to negate their damage. Right now, I have 1,126, which means um, any damage that I take is reduced that amount, uh, except for one. So I'll still take like one point of damage, but that's about it. Oh yeah, uh, another thing that I don't think made it into uh, .0180, uh, the action bars, hot bar, whatever the whatever you want to call it, uh, work now. Uh, here's an example like uh, before if you had something like this uh, you couldn't get rid of it but now you can however um, it is tied to mouse thumb button one so if you don't have a thumb button it's going to be a bit harder I do want to figure out uh, another key for it primarily tied to the mouse it was originally the right mouse button, but for whatever reason, I guess it's like being uh, diverted or used elsewhere, which is preventing it from dropping items. Uh, I may go with middle mouse wheel, that might be an option. Everybody has middle mouse wheel. Actually, I might do that later, on top of all the other stuff we got to do uh, today. Alright, I decided that I wanted to add some credits, which I just got to tweak that also today. Man, I got a lot to do today. But, um, I want to give thanks to any and all that have allowed me to really add to my project. I'm getting pretty hungry. I cannot remember. I'll have some cups of water. But yeah, uh, names for people that has helped out will be added to this with the two side portions being for more uh, crucial or in the moment uh, people that have really contributed, whether it was just simple support like hey keep it up or um, well, given the groundwork. Alright. Here's the other advancement that I'm actually quite happy about. I'm really glad that I managed to support, courtesy of uh, Torney and his Discord group. Thank you guys for kind of steering me in the right direction in getting 
love will transition to work. Yes. The previous plan was that I was going to go to an obscene distance around this and just kind of build everything up from there. But, um, the processing power and the bearing, yeah, it just would have been a terrible idea. So, I kind of had to force this to work, though there are still problems. However, I think most of the lag and stalling is contributed to my toaster every PC trying to bake my pizza. Anyways, uh, there are two portals at the moment, though uh, those levels have not really been touched. There is uh, substantial work that has to go into them, uh, as I want to add ambience, music, structure, places to explore, things to find. There's a lot to do. Um, hmm. Let's go into Conflictus. Uh, yeah, very original, but I think I'll go for like a lot. Now, this area I think is going to be the crazier area where enemy levels will be far higher, if not max, before the health system breaks down. Uh, man, I really hate the tiny integers or how things kind of break before they really should, but I'll make do with what I can. It just means that enemies with higher health are going to have to be a lower level, and eventually, like weaker enemies will be on tier four. It's just going to be terrible or tricky to work with, depending on your point of view. But let's check out this place real quick. All right. Well, welcome to the hellscape. Although there needs to be some work. This is actually supposed to be on the outer uh, rock wall border. However, well. Uh, this is going to be a barren hellscape at some point. I just kind of slapped together a quick portal platform and just added some effects. I wanted to go for a really spooky, dark, well, hell. <laughs> My version of hell, I guess you could say. Um, well, this walkway is a lot bigger, but then again, um... If possible, without making uh, numerous computers cry in sadness, I want there to be like armies of enemies so that you can just kind of. Oh, okay. Uh, apparently, there's like a bloom filter. Uh, so that you can do something like beasts. Just like attack a whole bunch of them. However, I'm still really sad about the freaking limitations. I will not let that down. I will find a way to break it. I swear to you. But these guys are only level 1, which is why they got taken out so easily. I'll most likely bump that up to probably being... I don't know, a thousand? Maybe more. I want them to be a lot harder, then again they can use um, increased damage for sure. Plenty of loot though. Speaking of loot, I haven't really touched on that, have I? I apologize. Okay, without uh, butter obscuring our camera's vision, let's take a quick look at the new loot uh, setup. Uh, what was it? Okay, um, I mentioned it earlier, but I kind of completely got sidetracked. Um, looting has been taking a different change. Before, like I said, I enjoy items kind of exploding everywhere. You get like that satisfactory feel of picking up ammo and supplies and things. But if you're going against hundreds of enemies, all those actors are going to bog down the performance a lot. So I had to come up with a different idea to go about with it. I still wanted to be able to get the volume of loot. Rude. But I wanted to do it in a way that could be a bit easier. Um, there may also be a way to be able to grab items from a distance. It might be like um, a spell uh, or an ability, but that'll be a work on. But essentially, for the moment, every time you take out a shadow or an enemy, you get a master loot box, which contains various other boxes inside. Think of it as like a big ammo crate with smaller ammo boxes inside. 
uh, once you open it, uh, right click, you could get various boxes. I, uh, I'm pretty sure there's like five different kinds, but the weapons and armor are by chance. Well, for reason. So let's open up, and let's open up a few of these. Master loot. Okay, ammo. Well, self explanatory. It's going to give you all sorts of ammo. Oh, jeez. Um, there will be a lot more ammo types added, so that's another reason this allows for um, more ammo types to be added without it causing even more lag, which it could be. Oh yeah, you just open those, um, and you get some ammo. Okay, coin box. This is where you could get the uh, um, coins here. You could get all six coins. But the first three that are the easiest to get, whereas like the pal palladium coin and onward, especially the radion, hopefully I said that right, coin is the hardest to get where it's like one out of a billion chance. So you get one of those from one of these, hey, that's something to brag about. And kind of gives you something to aim for. Armor crate will give you various pieces of armor, such as body suits, um, as access to all the play armors and such. So yeah, there's all sorts of armors they could get from the armor crate. Next up, the potion box. Um, well, self-explanatory. You can get potions, which is another thing that has been added. Oh my God, these rude people! I get it, you're screaming in agony, but still, don't scream in my ear. Anyways. There's actually one more that I want to add, but for now, we got mana and health. And they come in 19 different tiers. Starting. Uh oh. Okay, I gotta figure out uh, how to make the inventory not skip everywhere. That could be a problem. Alright, you start off with the tiny, which is like a half shot glass vial of whatever. Uh, 10 to 20, not very much, but it is something. However, if you get lucky or you can somehow get one on your mental health, these are for when you get really insane values. Of course, then again, I'm not too sure how well <laughs> uh, those health values will stay because previous experiments have tested. Unfortunately, things out there, especially a million, tend to go kablooey. And then ration supply uh, just gives you some food and drink, some food and water, so that you can always kind of keep stuff uh, stocked up. Uh, although red apple slices, there is a lot more coming out of them than I thought. Ah, uh, whatever. I might make things more scarce, I might not. And here is, I guess, an example of also what I kind of want from enemies is for them to wander like this. <laughs> like, a lot of them wandering around this space. Um, eventually there will be kind of good and bad, uh, like allies and foe, and eventually a moral system, but that'll be uh, way down the line. But yeah, uh, I pretty much want enemies to kind of roam all over this area, so that you could almost always be fighting them. I want them to be a lot tougher, numerous, faster. It'll be pretty interesting. Then again, um... Let's see, does it really show? Not really. Um, characters leveling up might slow down because I am increasing by 1% per level. So every time you level up, uh, the required experience from the next level is increased by 1%. Um, I felt that that would be the best way to go about it because that's kind of how it felt in my. Uh, Diablo, Diablo 2, sure you had the good start, but then it starts to turn into a crawl. Don't worry, there will be ways to be able to boost your level completely, like a potion of level. Uh, you'll still be able to get attribute points, skill points, and such. Oh, I gotta fix this weird uh, effect that is supposed to be outside the freaking border. Anyways, we're gonna return back and check out the other place that is also a work in progress. However, load screens for me anyways are a little long, but then again, I am going to be filling these spaces. 
Also, another thing is, uh, especially for this hell area, there will be multiple levels going downward. Um, gradually getting worse and worse. I hope to make things to eventually be impossible for players. Because that's the challenge. Onward to Sanctorium. Alright, welcome to this. Um, well, first off, there was another iteration, but for some reason, uh, the load time is absolutely insane. I have no idea why. It was bigger, it was flatter, I could have worked with it a lot easier, but the load times was like 30 minutes. Uh, I just said no, so unfortunate that one fell apart, but we got this one, which I have been working on. I'll probably uh, be working on today after I do some lighting experiments, but um, I created some layouts uh, or like platforms where I want to build all sorts of things. Uh, I also got to disable the fact that sounds kind of haunt you. Uh, I'll have to figure a way to kind of deactivate that here because this is supposed to be a peaceful place. Little jittery, but then again, that's my toaster complaining. Um, the aim is to try to go for a huge uh, city. It would have been a lot easier for the previous map because it was like a stretch of flat land. Um, I might look around on a couple more um, landscapes that I have available to see if I can find something a little bit better. But then again, I already did put a fair deal of time and effort into this, at least a day. A day for ink problem. Oh my god, the root screams. I get it, my work is terrible. You don't have to scream at me. No. Nah. Um, but there are uh, huge walkways around. I guess I want, I was thinking kind of Darksiders, or like the angelic areas that you would see in some games. How uh, they would have like these huge walkways around. Uh, maybe I should also put like a aqueduct. I think they're called. Cause there has to be water. Um, but yeah, I was kind of just slapping things together to see how they could work. There are going to be numerous districts. There's the market district, the military district, uh, manufacturing district, um, agriculture district. Uh, I think those are the major ones I can think of right now. There might even be like a uh, academy type thing. But yeah, I guess uh, unless I can figure things out with a better piece of land and catch up, uh, this is going to be it. Again, I probably wouldn't look at these long walkways as being something too terrible because I am thinking of ways to boost the player's speed. There will be uh, a way or two so that players could quickly move around in these large areas or else it would just be major headache. Also I gotta figure out what to do with this. It kinda just cuts off. I might just put like a, a lounge platform. But there's the start of the market district over there. Alright, as we approach, um, I had a couple of ideas, because this place is going to be like the peaceful, good place, although there might be like a invasion or attack every once in a while, although it would probably just be here and there, maybe, because I want this to be like the safe haven area. I had a couple of ideas, um, such as like helping um, people, maybe animals. Where you could get reward. Primarily because, well, I like animals. I have a cat. Bit of a turd, but still love him. The idea is well, this is all still taking place in a uh, purgatory like realm for now. So, say you were to find a spot where a cat might be, like, I don't know, next to one of these. Um, Outer trader stalls, which are really freaking tall. Mm, I kind of like that. 
and gives them room to stack stuff up so that they'll have plenty of inventory, hopefully. Or they can just, uh, yeah, it could be just like, uh, two people selling out of one. Well, yeah, see, there's like a cat bowl or something like right here. If you were to, um, drop a item, which that has to be fixed, or place an item in it, if I could make it into a container and wait for a bit, you would see uh, probably a cat come up and would leave you a present. That's the idea, anyways. As like a thank you for uh, giving them a treat or something. I think that's nice, and it's something for players to do. Um, maybe even allow players to uh, tame or get that pet. Alright, here is the other portion of the market district that's a work in progress. I'm trying to, I guess, set up buildings. Um, trying to set them in a way so that they won't take more than they should. As in saying, this whole thing, with the exception of the stairs in the walkway, is one air quote actor. Um, before I think it would have been like 30 or something. So each one of these is 3 instead of being like 35 or 40. Uh, they're empty for now and this is the weird lighting thing that I was talking about. It's primarily in um, this place. But I want it so that it will be darker on the inside. It's a little too bright for my face. Stop whispering in my ear. But yeah. There will be shops here. Um... I have to work on the manufacturing area, which will have assorted shops there that you can also take a look at. Um, but mainly all the selling and such will be happening here. There will be also NPC traders on the uh, outer stall area. God, all these people screaming in my ear, how rude. Um, however, I think or I would like to put them on like a scheduled timer thing where they won't be around all the time and you'll have to wait for them to come back or something like that. I think that would be a neat thing. Like it's uh, well, especially once um, different technologies and uh, items or groups are added, I think it could also be a uh, pretty fun or good thing. I might also increase the number of uh, these stall like things because I kind of want it to be expensive and in time there will be a lot more added. And I mean a lot. I'm aiming high with this but um, all in time as it's just me really working on the whole thing, importing everything, making sure things work here and there, um, and cleaning up whenever uh, the editor decides to hop out. I'm thinking that that platform down there that has two rims to it might be the manufacturing, because I did put this large ramp or two ramps. I'm thinking primarily like people could bring uh, resources and such down here. Uh, they could get somebody to make something special, or maybe they have excess stuff and they can bring it up to the market district and sell it. Um, this may also include vehicles. However, um, vehicles, especially in like this terrain, might not be the greatest unless it's like a spider based vehicle, which could be. So yeah, um, that's the two new levels. I'm really glad that I was able to get level transition working. That is a major thing. I was really worried about that because before, uh, when I first attempted to work on this long time ago, two, three, four, however many years ago, uh, whenever you went to a level, you lost your inventory and everything. It just to save your character and at the time I was working a really terrible job so I couldn't sit down and I try to figure it out whereas now I do have time I have a bit more experience and I know what I'm doing kind of even though I'm just kind of winging it 
Anyways, we're gonna end it on the main screen. These being because I want to, I guess, promote uh, Mellow Sonic as much as possible. Amazing music, amazing story. But yeah, Omni Mori is still heavily a work in progress as I'm still learning how things work, where things go, how to do things. Um, there is plenty to be added, plenty to be worked on. I'm especially waiting for the ability to put character creation in before I work on any um, armor or rigging pieces further. Right now it's kind of buggy where you put something on, take it off, and it's still kind of float with you. Um, I also didn't put the blood bone or the sarcic armor to render on the character, primarily because the character that is in there right now is just a starting placeholder. Um, they won't be there in the end game. They're just there to kind of. I was going to kind of keep them, but no, I really want to put character creation in. That is uh, another aim. I can't really do that now, as I kind of want to save up and we can help with it. So for now, that is what we got for Omni Mori. Uh, there is much more to be worked on. Um, I'm going to get to work on hopefully the light of Sanctorium. I am going to possibly look into a couple other things, but mainly I want to add more into Sanctorium. Uh, maybe you'll look into the code to see if I could increase value to go past the stupid book limit. Because I want to go really high, I can't help myself. And just see how or where Omnimore kind of goes. See how things might turn out. Again, I want to thank Mellow Sonic on YouTube for his amazing work in the remix of the Unreal theme. Mellow Sonic, if you got this far, because I know this video is going through like 40 minutes right now, because uh, it's going to be largely unedited. Thank you again, Mellow Sonic, once again, for allowing me to have your music as the main theme of this. I feel it fits. It sounds great. It's like a fantasy mixed with sci-fi. It's like there is hope, but at the same time, don't get your hopes up. It's a little gritty. It's rough. I like it. I can't help it. It might be the theme of Omni Mori. Who knows? We'll see in the future. Um, if things work. Because I know Unreal is a pretty old game, so the base theme is definitely like 20 plus. But that's getting into um. All sorts of crazy stuff down the line. Anyways, um, I'm gonna draw to a close here because this was attempt like 10 to trying to cover everything. I've actually tried recording this numerous times before, but I always kept adding things. I'm gonna have to force myself today to try to upload this video. Also, another thing is, I guess I'll be putting YouTube in every once in a while because. Though I love working on this game almost non-stop, sometimes playing through the game is good. Um, I do have a couple ideas of what I want to do with the YouTube. Probably just be quick shots to see uh, what I could do with those. Because I know some people are interested in how I did some things and some past videos. Anyways, that's going to be it for Omni Mori. This little vlog. Um, run through of what's happening, what's done, and what might be included in the next update. Again, check out Melosonic. I can't say it. Great person. They allowed me to use their music, their remix. They do great work. They're awesome. Thank you again, Melosonic, so much. Check out his stuff on YouTube. I believe he has another site. Um, all of which will be linked down in the description. If you haven't checked that out, uh, really good. Also, on the final note, uh, if you want to show support for the Omni Mori project, there are numerous ways that you can. Simply sharing on up to you. Know, uh, doing what you can. You can make your own page, but uh, it's more for the time and effort to put everything together and, and, and things working. 
as I'm still learning from novice skill level, I think I'm going to get to something. I'm really happy with how uh, things are going to go. But, uh, we passed the 40 minute mark now because of my rambling. Thank you all once again for any and all support. You're all great. Thank you again, no Sonic. I can't say it enough. <laughs> it's just a great thing. I'm really glad to die happy. Or, uh, no. I worded that wrong. I'm really glad to be able to be worthy enough to put it in my game. Thank you again. Thank you all. And I'll see you next time.